On behalf of Zach and Christine, along with their families, I'd like to welcome you all and thank you for being a part of this joyous celebration. Let's share some laughs. This is going to be a fun and great day as we all get to be a part of two amazing people and their families becoming one. For those who don't know, know me, I'm the great and exalted Father Jason. <laughs> I'm the I am an ordained minister. It's true, a few seconds on the internet, you too can have this job. <laughs> I asked Christine and Zach how they wanted their wedding ceremony and they told me I could do whatever I want. So sit tight, folks. <laughs> However, Christine did send me notes, texts, emails, over the next several months, telling me exactly what she wanted to put in her wedding ceremony. So not exactly what I wanted, but we're here. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to bear witness to the most cherished of ceremonies between two beautiful souls, the marriage of Christine Ann Sieverts and Zachary David Miller, and also the promise of an open bar afterwards. <laughs> Christine looking beautiful as always in her white dress. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Zach, very handsome in your outfit, in the outfit Christine dressed you in. <laughs> and also maybe if you gave some input, we wouldn't be all cooking up here in these dark colors in mid-July. <laughs> I put up with Christine for a lot of years I mean, I, I've known Christine for a lot of years. She's very driven and dedicated to her family, and I've never seen her as happy as she is with Zach. I've gotten to know Zach over these past few years. Sorry, sweaty. Uh, I've gotten to know Zach uh, more and more over these past few years, and I'm always impressed with his calm, positive attitude, and his willingness to head out on any adventure, and of course, his ability to put up with Christine. The truth is, Christine and Zach have made several memories together. And of course, they're gonna make several more. They have found a love that is everlasting and they're truly themselves with one another and, and they complement each other in every way. This truly is a day of two kindred spirits committing to a lifetime of awesomeness together. As they begin this journey of marriage, they're not alone. Their journey includes two amazing young boys Parker and Preston. I am always impressed by the dedication and love these two share for these boys. Witnessing their tender interactions and how they partner in nurturing these boys as they grow together has always been a heartwarming experience. I would now like to ask Parker and Preston to come up here for a moment. Uh, Zach, I believe, has something he wants to say to you. Parker and Preston, I want you boys to know first how much I love you. You and your mom are the most important things to me. You both bring so much light and joy and pure love into my life. Getting to spend every day with you guys and finding new ways to have fun is the best part of every week. I feel so lucky to call you my boys and uh, I want you to know that I'll always be there for both of you, no matter what's never needed. <laughs> Parker. You are the sweetest and smartest boy that I know. And the way you live with your heart on your sleeve is beautiful. You are such a good big brother to Preston. And I know how much he looks up to you. And I couldn't be prouder of you, Parker, and everything you continue to do. Pressy. <laughs> You're my little man. Your personality and your joy always keeps me and your mom on our toes. You're loyal and loving to your closest friends, and you light up my life with your infectious smile every morning when you sneak down the stairs. I would build a million more forts and step on a million more toys if it meant a million more days of loving you boys and watching over you. My dad was there for me for everything growing up, my hero, and that's all I want to be to you boys. Thank you for being the most amazing kids and loving me with your enormous hearts. I love you boys with all I have, and I promise I'll always be by your side. Love you, boys. 
Now, according to the manual I downloaded online, <laughs> this brings us to the point we call the vows. Christine, when I was when I was trying to write my vows, I had an infinite amount of things I wanted to say and share, and memories I wanted to revisit, the laughs I wanted to have again. When you're unsure of where to start, it kind of forces you to just simply go back to the start. I knew the moment that I laid eyes on you, that you at least looked like the woman in my dreams. <laughs> but as we talked more and got to know each other, it was becoming clear that you didn't just look the part, but you were the embodiment of everything the woman of my dreams entailed. You are intelligent, loving, passionate, and unbelievably beautiful. You're competitive, which balances us well, because I'm not. <laughs> But all of the things that you are, your greatest attributes are both how strong of a mom you are to the boys and how strong of a rock you are to our family. When you meet the love of your life, obviously life changes. I'm so fortunate my life has changed in more than one way. You've taught me patience. You've taught me a different kind of love. I know how to show and give love in different ways because of you. I'm positive I love you and the boys with my whole heart. I can't explain how much I love our team and the teamwork that goes into maintaining it day in and day out. I can't thank you enough for letting me into yours and the boys' lives and just know that you've changed mine forever. I know that we're stronger than ever because of my sheer inability to imagine life without you and the boys. I appreciate life in a way that I didn't even understand before. You've made me a better man. I can't believe that we are here. We knew we'd get here, right, babe? I knew you'd be my wife, and that I'd be there for you forever. I promise to love you and the boys for all of my life, to never stop working hard for our family, and to always put you and the boys first. I can't believe I get to call you my wife today after uh, years of being my best friend and someone I've always looked up to. I love you so much, and I always will, Christine. Zach, it's clear to me now that every decision in my life has led me to you, the good, the bad. I have no regrets that this is the way that it was meant to be, our own love story. I choose it all over again. You showed me when I was least expecting it. When we first met, there was this force that drew me to you. It was magnetic. I felt like I could conquer the world with you. You were my kind of perfect. The moment I opened that snap, <laughs> when you were on the for some reason I just knew, like, time stopped. Like, my heart said, that's the one. I have waited my whole life for what I've only dreamt of, that people talk about, but you, you've never actually felt that kind of love. You're that love. My heart, my soul, my every being has been with you, but today I promise they are yours forever as your wife. Standing here in front of everyone that has witnessed our story from the beginning, you chose me and the boys and the unconditional love you have for us. The way you look at me, they know how exceptional you are. I'll take my whole life giving you how you make me feel, to fall in love with you every day. You encourage me to grow, to believe in myself, your competitive spirit drives me to be the best I can be, and I promise to let you win sometime. <laughs> <laughs> I know with you by my side, we make the ultimate team. We will take names, cheer each other on, even through the rough times. With you, I'm a better version of myself. I feel like one lifetime could never be enough with you. You're my teacher, my lover, my friend, my support, my family and my lobster. <laughs> I know the best is yet to come. I'm yours forever. So today, I take the place as your wife. I love you, Zach Miller. I give you this ring. I have a symbol of my love. And that I am choosing you. To share in my life's journey. I give you this ring with a pledge. To love you today. Always. And forever. And more. By the power of the internet, <laughs> and the great state of Washington, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Mr. and Mrs.
part of your family and, and raise your two boys, and it's, that really showed me that that was probably the last relationship that Zach would probably have. So happy for you guys. You truly seem like you're perfect together. Um, so let's all raise a glass to the happy bride and groom. He said, I only dream that someday I would find someone, that one person, the one individual that they need by their side for the rest of their life, the one you can't live without, that person that makes you laugh, wipes your tears, that one person that pushes your mind, comforts your heart, and understands you more than anyone, that one person that no matter what the day brings, you're okay because you're ending it with them. Well, today that dream has come true. Here's to happily ever after, and God bless.